Previously on Pokemon Sword. Oh, nice. Thank you. Sorry? Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Mid. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. An easy to understand description of the energy plant. Okay. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? Darkest day? I think it's the darkest day. No, it's the two heroes. Two heroes. Bang on, the statue at that hotel in Motostoke only had one hero, no matter how he slices it. But Hello YouTube, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. So we are now going to continue our journey towards the next area. We will have to pass through Route 6 first. I'm sure we will also encounter new Pokemon. We'll catch a few along the way. Fairy type. Not very effective. Hmm. Metronome, okay, what move? Swallow. Well, that's unfortunate. Still not very effective. But that's okay. Nightshade. Okay, that will, that will affect Farfetch. Because he's not normal type. Surfetch rather. <laughs> that will affect Surfetch. Hmm. Clefable. Wow, the evolved form. Let's use focus energy to guarantee critical hits. So you only know the move metronome. Reflect type? What is that? Oh! So now you are fighting type? That's better. At least my rock smash will now deal neutral damage. Critical hit. And defense down? Nope. Another metronome. So what is what it's gonna be? Aromatherapy. <laughs> it's gonna be nothing since you aren't in any status condition. No poison, no paralysis. So, aromatherapy was useless. Perfetch now level 21. Almost. Perfetch almost has the same attack status as Gyarados. Okay, so what Pokemon can we find here? What is that? Dog Trio? Is that a Dog Trio? Let's see. Whoops. Uh huh. Dog Trio. Let's see if we can catch one. Okay, we'll go with Orbital. Yes, Hypnosis. Critical catch. Nope. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Orbital and coughing now level 32. Mirror code. Nah. I don't need that. Sludge bomb. Nice. We're going to replace sludge. It's basically the same. Except that Sludge Bomb has higher power. Three more levels until Coughing evolves. I go to the box. Hmm. What is this? What is that? That Pokemon looks familiar. 
Let's still have Orbital in front of our party. What's that? This guy again. Hell, um. <laughs> Critical HP and sleep. Right? Right. Great. Bro, it's now level 34. Not yet. Not yet. I have a feeling this guy is going to evolve once he reaches level 36. Similar to most of starter Pokemon. Um, Yamask? Is this Yamask? Yamask? Hmm. But it looks different. It's a sad different. Not going anywhere. Level thirty-four. Okay, yeah, mask. Oh, Galarian form. Okay, spirit Pokemon, ground and ghost type. Place lab with cursed engravings took possession of a yeah mask. This lab is said to be absorbing the yeah mask's dark power. Okay, wait. What is what is this Pokemon called again? It's a dragon type. <laughs> Axew. Okay, I forgot its name. Still not a critical catch. I wonder what are the requirements to get a critical catch, or is it just pure luck? Dragon type. Okay, time to revive Coughing and Grud. Oh well. Hmm, hyper potion, just super potion. That should be enough. Any new Pokemon here? What is this? What is this? Who is this? Oh, another dog trio. Question is, can Orbital escape from this battle? Dog trio has a high speed set. Soft sand? I don't need it. Crap. Okay, fine. Let's battle. Want it to be that way. Uh huh. Let's use hypnosis first. Oh crap. Okay, still one HP. Come on, come on. Damn. Please use sucker punch. Use sucker punch. Sucker punch, sucker punch, sucker punch. Damn. Rip. Let me escape. Okay, Pokemon battle. First revive. Need to revive or beetle. Then let's have Sir fetch in front. Wait, I think this Tobos battle. Hmm. Tobos battle. Let's use or be and sir fetched. At level 31. How about Berserker? Sir fetched and Berserker. Huh? 
Let's go doubles. Time for a checkup. What kind of checkup? <laughs> Medical team. Ponyard and Toge. Togetic. Okay. Fair match up. We can use Sir Fetch. Against Ponyard and then Perserker again. Let's use Fake Out first. Against Togetic. We'll flinch it. Nice attack stat, Sir Fetch. <laughs> Even critical hit. That should flinch the Toget. Togetic. Thanks to Fake Out. Okay. Then we can finish it with Iron Head. <laughs> Not very effective because it's a fairy type. Well, we can inflict super effective damage by using Iron Head. Still, type move. So what's up here? What is that? What is that Pokemon doing there? So what Pokemon do you have, Diane? So, fighting type. Fight fighting type with fighting type. Who's the better fighting type? Hmm. First impression is not very effective. Let's use focus energy. So sweep. Uh huh. That's quite a big damage. Speed fell. Level 31. Bulk up. I think Surfetch will go down with another low sweep. Let's hope it uses Bulk up one more time. Oh no 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 no, that's bad. Okay, thank god. Good job, Surfetch. Keep on hitting those critical hits. <laughs> I think it's time we give Berserker the spotlight. Fossilized Dino? Hmm. Maybe similar to Kabuto. Oh, my night. Dig. TM dig. Hold on. That's already the next town? Or is that just a Pokemon Center? Hey! Let's make curry together in your camp. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses right there. There's an item here. Mm, what is that Pokemon? Helioptile. Oops. Light clay. Hmm. Another light clay. You already got one from Monsdale. Hmm. Another Yamask. That's a TM right there. How do we get it? Let me fish. See what Pokemon we can catch from this pond. Magikarp! <laughs> Level 20. Can get away. Magikarp's too fast for Perserker.
Never mind then. Wait, how do we get back there? What? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna fish. Uh. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay. I know now. Uh huh. What is this? Hippopotas. Might as well catch you. Since we are here. Or wait, I think I already caught one. Or no. No, not yet. They caught first, then Iron Head. No damage from Sandstorm because per circus of Steel type. Then let's use Orbeez for Hypnosis. Don't use any type of move like takedown or drop. No stab at least. Maybe you have crunch. Please hit. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye bye. You played yourself. <laughs> I'll catch one later. But now you're not the priority. Uh huh. Oh crap! Another dog trio. And I can't escape again because of a new because of arena trap. Let's try. Okay, time to battle. Want to battle per circle? I'll give you one. And that should do it. Iron Head coupled with Tough Claws plus Berserkers. I attack stat. This a lot of damage. What, what? What? No, no, no. Don't climb there. Climb here. Some Baractus. I have no plans of interacting with you. So is this a battle? No, it's not a battle. What is this? Hello? Name's Carol Liz. I'm researching fossils, huh? Fossils in Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason, huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understanding this... Combinable Pokemon, huh? Hmm, maybe. 32, 33. Let's check our box. Mm. Let's sub Dread no first for Gyarados and then Arcol. Arcol should stay there. Hatina. Hatina can sub for Orbital. Wait, I may need to catch more Pokemon, so Orbital should stay there. I think Berserker is already strong enough. Even if. Even at level 32. Uh, I have Kindred now in front of the party. But let me hold. Let me transfer the smoke ball to him. From Gyarados. Wait, actually? Let's go with the amulet coin. How does camping together works? No kindred, no? Wanna play with the others? <laughs> you have a Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, Macho, Steelix. Not really a fan of fighting types, huh? No kindred, no. Hmm, take out Toy. Toy, hey! Hello, Steelix. Oh, we have Hitmon top as well, along with Tyrogue. 
keep attacking me. Anyway, uh, menu. Should we cook? Let's cook. Now let's start cooking together. Hmm. We have a lot of citrus berry, so let's put three. Topsy berry, one. Palette berry, one. Tomato berry, two. Uh, what else? One chest of berry, one cherry berry, and one thumb berry. That should do it. So what is going to be our main ingredient? Maybe we don't need to provide. <laughs> Ooh. She provided herself. Too slow for fanning. It may burn the curry. Whoa, 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 whoa. That may be too much flame, I think. <laughs> Gotta be careful so that it doesn't get burned. <laughs> There we go. So what's the result of our cooking? Dry fried food curry, wow. Hmm, Kindred no likes it. I think the Pokemon always likes the curry you cook. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for sharing your camp. You got some experience points. Hey. Hmm, okay, so how do we get there? Wait. Is there a path here? Nothing. Uh huh. Wait, how do I go there? Maybe there's there's this okay, there's a stair here. Ladder rather, ladder, not stair. <laughs> the Pokemon battle. Kindred now with amulet coin. Gotta get those money. Scorupi. Poison type? Poison bug? Hone claws. Gonna increase its attack and accuracy by one stage. Bezo shell. Look like from Oshawott. <laughs> Another Pokemon. Ponyard steel type. Guess we'll use razor shell. Metal sound that will decrease Dreadnought's special defense by two stages. I need to use razor shell two more times. Defiant? Wait, what? Okay, so due to Razor Shell, its defense is decreased by one stage, and because of its ability, Defiant, because of its abil ability, Defiant, it increased its attack by two stages. Hmm. Basically, if you lower one of its stats, it will activate Defiant. 
Okay. There's a TM here. So we are traversing this area first before moving forward. Another trainer battle. Let's check this berry tree first. See what we can get. Hmm. Check it more. Crap. I don't want to battle you right now. Can Kindred no run? Okay, nice. But at least we still got three citrus berries. Guess I'll battle you. You look similar to that lady I cooked curry with. <laughs> Oh, it's a throw. Hmm, fighting type and I am um, rock type. Not really good. But let's see. Hmm, I moved first. Okay, rock. Oh, wait. Why did I use rock tomb? Storm throw. I think that's fighting type. Uh huh. Critical hit. Even that is a critical hit. Hmm, should we use Athena? Can we try? Nah, let's go with coughing. And use Sludge Bomb. Another Storm Throw. Storm Throw. Keep on landing critical hit. Don't like what they're doing. Let me creep all you. Missed. Revenge. That's gonna deal a little damage. Because my attack missed. Or rather, I didn't inflict you with any direct damage on your HP. That. Wait, what? Switched for switch? Fine. Want to battle against Orbital? You have made a mistake. You made a mistake. Still alive, I see. Don't mind using Orbital against you, you know. You wanted this. <laughs> Coughing now level 33. Another Axew. Nope. Ah. Come on, another Dugtria. Oh, it's a Dust Call. No need to battle it. We already have that Pokemon. If we can get any more items here, there should be. Be something. There's a TM! Steel Wing! Perhaps we can give Corvi not not Corvinite, um Corvi Square. There may be an item here. There's an axe. Yep, I already know that. No axe you! There can be. No no no. Uh, okay, maybe we can catch this one. Sandstream. Let's talk about. In you go.
Injured now now. Injured now now level 32. Hippopotas. Go away, ask you. I don't want to battle you. Go away. Now let's resume our journey. Wanna battle? Of course you want to battle. Hmm. Artist Duncan. Oh, a coffin. Fair matchup. Neutralizing gas. So no tough claw for us. Just use razor shield. Rather, not tough claw. Tough job. Hmm, critical hit. Good job. Smoke screen. It's gonna lower our accuracy. Injured no accuracy by one stage. So it still hits. Okay. Defense fell. Oh, using smoke screen. I have a feeling this one's gonna miss. I knew it. Self destruct. Really now. Come on, resist it. Nice. All those efforts just to self destruct. Do you have one more Pokemon? So the Wodo. Razor shells to do the trick. Though we may need. Oh crap. Forgot about the smoke screen. Still has its effect. Really? Really now? Hmm. <laughs> Let's use our fetch. So the wood is a rock type. And go straight for rock smash. Slam. Sir Doc. Maybe I should I should change his name to Sir Doc, or rather her name. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just continue in using Rock Smash. Keep on landing those critical hit Sir Fetch. Tina is now level twenty nine. Oh wait, level 35? I thought... <laughs> level 36, anyway. Final evolution of our starter Pokemon. What's her name? Rilla Boom. Hmm, interesting. You have fully evolved into Grodd, finally. Drummer Pokemon. Grass type. By drumming, it taps into the power of its special tree stomp. The roots of the stomp follow its direction in battle. I see. So, are you going to learn something new? Drum beating. What is that? Your signature move. The user plays its drum, controlling the drum's roots to attack the target. This also lowers the target's speed stat. Nice. Or speed stat. Okay. No longer need Razor Leaf. Drum beating. If there's another trainer here, shouldn't be any. And here we are at. What is this town called? There's a gym leader here. Hmm. Fighting type gym leader. Welcome to the town of Stone Side. Okay, Stone Side. Hello. Need to heal our team first before proceeding. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Hmm. Let's restock our supply of Pokeball. Let's buy 14. 
Hmm. Hey. What are you guys talking about? Hmm. Tons of good stuff. What are those? Fossilized birds. Fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once soared through the sky. What it looked like some mystery. Hmm. I wonder what is this? The professor on Route 6 will restore fossils for you. Oh, that one we talked with earlier. If you want to collect different fossils, go to the wild area. Search for them by yourself or as the digging duo. I see. Anyway. The episode is going to end here, guys. For the next one, we are going to explore this town and hopefully also battle the next gym leader. See you and thank you for watching.